but it's already clear that the ultimate winner will be the religion of Islam. Cafes and restaurants throughout Doha were painted with murals that quoted the Prophet Muhammad urging good morality, with foreign visitors warmly invited into the country's mosque, where many heard the call to prayer and learnt about Islam and its teachings for the first time in their lives. As many Muslims have joked, foreign visitors to Qatar will arrive as David, but leave as Dewa. But visitors to Qatar are experiencing what it means to be welcomed as a stranger in the Muslim world. And as someone who's lived in a Muslim country for more than a decade and spent time visiting with Palestinians in their homes in Gaza and the West Bank, I can assure you the welcome you receive as a non-Muslim person is second to none, which is why I'm so happy that Qatar has given the rest of the world an opportunity to experience what I have. Notably, this was the first World Cup in which fans from rival countries didn't verbally and physically abuse each other. Why? Because Islam is the only religion in the world to not be hijacked by race or ethnicity. Now let's remember that Qatar copped a lot of flack for sticking to its Islamic principles in banning sales of alcohol at the tournament stadiums. We heard all the usual allegations of Islamic extremism and whatnot, but here's two points of data that vindicates Qatar's courageous decision to not bend to Western desires. For the first time, families and female attendees felt safe to be at the football. The atmosphere in Qatar was widely described as unprecedentedly friendly and inclusive. I feel like you're maybe feeling a little bit safer over here. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Cause, again, because there's no alcohol involved, it feels really safe. Yeah, brilliant. Pues es demasiado, en los estadios es muy seguro, pues tú no ves que alguien te toque, o sea, la gente es súper respetuosa, el ambiente es muy bueno y especialmente para todos. Son... Alcohol has been a a topic because you felt a bit more uh, people were a bit more wild uh, with booze in their system so uh, over here I think that's something that has helped a lot. I think it is actually due to um, more socially conservative society. I think alcohol contributes a bit more to hostility rather than things like catcalling, wolf whistling and sexual harassment. But watch what happened when beer-guzzling English and Welsh fans got together in the Canary Islands to watch their respective teams play last week. If that's what you call Western values, then you can see why Qatar and other Muslim countries reject them. I'm a non-religious person but I've never felt closer to Islam than I have during the past few weeks. And while I have no idea what the future holds for me, I do know that this is a religion that fosters community like none other. And we all got to see this for ourselves during the FIFA World Cup.